Tussie Mountain looks like a big, muddy mess. The snow on the ground is thin and icy, and it's only there because it's machine-made. While some celebrate the warm weather, people like Sue Matalavage, who's made her living working at Tussie for 25 years, are losing money. I would say we're 40 or 50 percent behind last year. She says the mild Christmas week cost the resort a third of its income for the month of December. The temperatures aren't even on our side and haven't been on our side at all this year. I think we've probably had 14 or 15 days of snowmaking and they haven't been around the clock snowmaking. So we can only do what the temperatures allow us to do. Bullsburg reached 60 degrees on Tuesday and 57 degrees on Wednesday, almost double the average for this time of year. It has to be 25 degrees or less to make snow, so Tussie closed all of its trails Wednesday night, except for one because conditions were so bad. I'm in a pile of slush at the edge of the slope on the border of snow and mud, and there's barely any coverage, leaving not much to work with for the skiers and snowboarders. Metta Lavage says if it weren't for Penn State kinesiology classes, which pay the resort to offer skiing and snowboarding classes to students, she'd be in bigger trouble. It's all the way up into New England. It's all the way up the, up the northeastern coast that ski areas are struggling with the weather. It's not just us. In Bullsburg, I'm Erica Brecker for the Center County Report.